Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to add a third party keyboard to iPhone or iPad. So, whether you want more customization, emojis, or different typing styles, adding a new keyboard is pretty easy. That said, let's get started. So, first off, you have to load the App Store, new iPhone or iPad, and then you have to search for the keyboard you would like to add, such as Gboard, SwiftKey, or any other third party keyboard. And then you have to tap on the get button to download and install the app. And once you have successfully installed the app, go to the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. And then you have to scroll down a bit and choose the general option. And then you have to select the keyboard option to proceed. And in the keyboard settings, you have to tap on keyboards. And then you have to select add new keyboard option. And from the list that appears, you should see the keyboard you just installed under third party keyboard section. And then you have to tap on the keyboard name to add it. It's worth pointing out that for some keyboards additional features may require full access. To enable this, you have to tap on the keyboard you added. And then you have to turn on the toggle right next to allow full access. Now, a message will appear explaining that this allows the keyboard to access type data. Then you have to confirm if you are comfortable with this functionality. Now to use your new keyboard, you have to open any app where you can type, like messages or notes. And then you have to press and hold the globe icon on your keyboard. And then you have to select your new keyboard from the list. And there you have it. You have successfully added a third party keyboard on your iPhone or iPad. Now you can enjoy new typing features and customization. If this guide was helpful to you, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.